One of the key features in AutoCAD PNID is the ability to export data to an Excel spreadsheet. This tool is part of the Data Manager and can be used on both drawing-specific or project-wide information. To see how this works, let's start with the Data Manager. From the Ribbon, Home tab, Project panel, select the Data Manager tool. For the data source, select the PNID Project Data option. Select the Equipment Classification. All equipment data is displayed. Select the Export Data icon at the top of the dialog. The default selection set is the displayed data, so when you create an exported file, what you see is what you'll get. Child Node describes subclasses in a definition. For example, data associated with pumps would be considered a child node in this case, since we selected the equipment classification as the parent. You have two options. Active node and all child nodes include all properties assigned directly to the equipment class, plus all of the additional properties assigned to a specific subclass, such as flow capacity in a pump. Active node only exports the common data from all subclasses, such as manufacturer and model. Leave this set to include all child nodes. Select Browse. Locate the exported Excel file in the Dataset folder. Note how the name of the file matches the name of the project and the selected class definition equipment. Files of type for export include XLXLS, XLSX, or CSV files. Leave this set to XLS. Click Save to continue. Click OK to complete the export. Once the file is exported, let's open it up with Excel. If you get a warning about a different format, select OK to continue. The exported file is broken into several tabs. Each tab represents a specific part type. Select the Horizontal Centrifugal Pump tab and review the data. There are also group class definition pages. For example, note how there is a tab named Pumps that contains all pump information and blowers for all blowers. Here's a suggestion. When you create a table that includes both child and parent nodes, use linked cells between the tabs to provide common data so the data is only entered once. To do this, pick the first flow capacity cell on the pumps tab. Type in the equals sign. Do not press enter. Pick the horizontal centrifugal pump tab and pick the same corresponding cell. Once you pick the cell, press Enter. The Pumps tab is now open and the data is now linked. To spread the data, select the cell. In the lower right corner, you'll see a dot. Left click and hold the dot and drag the cell to the adjacent cells. You've now created a link between a child node on a subclass object page and the cell on the parent page. This is pretty easy. Save the file so you can use this for the import data exercise. Once you make changes in this file, you can import the data back into the project. You can also link data in this file to other spreadsheets via OLE links. You can even tie this data into different types of databases such as Access or SQL. No matter how you want to use the data, getting it out is easy.